Hey everybody, it's Fervor for Faith. Uh, in this Antichrist moment, I wanted to talk a bit about the actual arrival of the Antichrist, or I guess you could say it's the coming of the Antichrist. Uh, now I know that there are a lot of people who think, uh, you know, they think that, you know, this politician or that politician or this person or that person or, you know, whoever, they, they'll say, oh, he's the Antichrist or he's the Antichrist. You know, you see this a lot, especially with, you know, like Barack Obama or or stuff like that. And I fell into this myself. I'm, I'm not saying that, I, oh, I'm so much smarter than everybody. I fell into this in times past as well. Uh, but when we actually look at the scriptures, we see that it's pretty clear that the arrival of the Antichrist on the scene is not something that people are going to miss. I mean, it's not going to be, oh, he just he showed up, you know, and nobody noticed for a while kind of thing. It'll be really obvious when it happens. Um, so that's what we're going to be talking about today, is the arrival of the Antichrist. Now, just to note, I do believe in a pre-Daniel's 70th week catching away of the body of Christ, um, also known as a pre-trib rapture. Uh, I do believe in that. I don't think that the body of Christ is going to be here on earth when the Antichrist arrives on the scene. However, I do think that uh, studies like this series that, that I'm doing are important because we shouldn't have a false view of eschatology. You know, the Bible, it says in the Bible, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Uh, it tells us to study uh, the word of God, to, to get our, our doctrine right, and to get our beliefs right. And so that includes eschatology. Now, eschatology isn't a salvation issue, but it is important. Uh, it, number one, just to have the, the right view and to be in the truth, but also because we shouldn't be teaching people the wrong things. It's really important that the, that the information that we put out and the information that we teach is true because there are a lot of people in this world, in case you haven't noticed, but there are a lot of people in this world that aren't saved and a lot of people who aren't saved that think that they are. Uh, there are a lot of pseudo-Christians who think that they're saved, but they're not. Uh, they almost universally hold to some kind of a post-trib view, of a post-tribulational rapture. Uh, and they also tend to believe that the Antichrist is either Islamic, as in like the Imam Mahdi, or they believe that he's some kind of a politician, like Barack Obama. Uh, like Tony Blair, uh, like this new guy, Alexis Cypress, uh, or somebody like Prince Charles, Prince William, things like that. And again, I fell into that many times before, so I'm not judging anybody who who was falling into that. But it, it, I do think that it's wrong, um, and, and we're going to talk about that today. But they tend to believe one of those two one of those two things. Either he's the Mahdi, or he's a politician, or he's both. Um, now, the former view of, of this Islamic Antichrist, uh, that's been popularized by guys like Walid Shubat, uh, Joel Richardson, and even the likes of Paul Begley and John MacArthur. The later view of the politician Antichrist, usually a European politician, those owe its popularity uh, to the Tim LaHaye Left Behind series of books and films, uh, as well as Hal Lindsey, Jack Van Impey, and the like. Um, now, the, what the Bible says about the issue uh, of the coming of the Antichrist, I think what the Bible says debunks all of those views. And so that's what we're going to, again, be looking at today. Uh, we're going to go to 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, starting in verse 7, going down to verse 9. And it reads, For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose coming is after the working of Satan, with all power and signs and lying wonders. 
Okay. Now the Bible says right here in Second Thessalonians chapter two, verse nine, that the Antichrist's coming is with all power and signs and lying wonders. And when it says all power, signs and lying wonders, it means all power and signs and lying wonders. Satan, for all intents and purposes, is pulling out all the stops with this one. He's not holding back anything. This is going to be the grandest deception in the history of the world. Okay, it's going to be a major worldwide event when it happens. This isn't going to be something that you can miss. You know, and when when the Antichrist comes on the scene, it's not going to be like, oh, you know, people kind of don't realize it for a year or whatever. And then all of a sudden, oh boy, it dawns on them. No, this is going to be something that people are going to see and they're going to witness it and they're going to understand that something major is happening. Okay, it's not just going to be some throwaway, you know, thing that people, again, are going to be able to miss. This is going to be front page news. Okay, the Antichrist is going to be wrapped in lying wonders and lying signs. He's going to be uh, surrounded by them. It's going to be. It's going to follow him wherever he goes. You know, that doesn't sound like a politician who you know signs a seven-year peace treaty or something. You know, this is going to be something that is major, and something that people are going to. You're going to see why people are going to fall down and worship this this person you know what i mean this isn't just going to be some you know politician this is not a politician or a military general you know this is much bigger than that this is going to be much bigger and we see again that that, that the bible seems to to be portraying that when it says that the Antichrist's coming is with all power and signs and lying wonders. Okay, the level of deception is going to be the greatest that it's ever been. Okay, and that it ever will be, again. Now, when it comes to this, there's someone else in the Bible that we can think of, that, that, we, that will readily come into our minds uh, when I say this. But there's somebody else in the Bible whose coming is going to be with power and with signs. And the Bible literally uses those words, with power and, and that there will be signs. But we're going to hold off on that until later. I think you know who I'm talking about. But we're going to hold off, hold off on that until later. But to, to conclude this, this video, the Antichrist's coming is with all power and signs and lying wonders. This is not something that is going to be, you know, missed by anybody. People are going to see it. They're going to understand it. They're going to know something major has happened. It's going to be front page worldwide news.